Hey everybody, uh, last time I got shadows working, kind of. Um, well, I mean, not kind of, they're definitely working. They're very rudimentary, very pixelated, and dare I say ugly, but uh, working nonetheless. So that's that's good, I'm really happy with that. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna take care of mouse picking, and probably not the entire entirety of it. Like I'm not gonna probably be able to pick things up and move them around, but I at least want to be able to convert the 2D coordinate of my mouse to a 3D ray into the game world, so that way I can then later use that to move things around. So yeah, so let's do that. Um, to get started, I'm going to reset my canvas shader. I don't need to display the shadow map anymore, and I'll probably make a custom shader to uh, do that later if I need to. So I don't need to do that. And here, I can get rid of all this. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I, every time I move the mouse around, I uh, move the camera with it. So I need a new game state that'll allow me to move the camera, I mean, to move the mouse cursor. And I could do this if I press Alt, I can move the mouse cursor around, but then the window doesn't have focus of, or I'm not sure if that makes sense. The uh, window doesn't have access to the mouse cursor. Like it's not aware of the mouse cursor when I do that. So I need to come up with a new way to allow me to move the mouse around the window, but still keep the game aware of where the mouse is being uh, pointed in the game. So I hope any of that makes sense. Uh, let me close this and this and this, and I can close that for now. I'll close that for now. Uh, yeah, so let me go here. I'm gonna make a whole new game state. I'm gonna make game mode, oops, game mode. I'm gonna call it edit, edit mode. So let's make a new entry here. You know what? Oh, okay, so for now, I'm gonna copy debug mode and make edit mode the same thing. Um, and then I need to pretty much do this. Well, I guess not really. Um, let's see, I'll make the end key go to edit mode. I don't know why, it just seems appropriate. So I'm gonna say if game mode does not equal game mode edit, then state mode equals game mode edit. I think that's really all I need to do. So I don't think that's gonna really do anything. Uh oh, it's H. Oh yeah, I need a comma. There we go. So I'm not in debug mode anymore, but it's still not moving. I think I gotta come over here and modify this in some way. And I really should not do it in this way, but again, everything is <laughs> just for temporary purposes. So I think here I only wanna set the cursor position if the game state mode does not equal game mode edit. Otherwise, I wanna be able to move the, ca the mouse cursor around. Okay, so debug mode, press N. I'm in edit mode and that does not work. Um, Wait, hang on, I've got something wrong here. So when I mouse move, update camera. I guess, yeah, I only wanna update the camera if I'm not in edit mode as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so then when I click, I don't know. Okay, so now that that's 
good. I got a new edit mode, and then this make sure I can go to edit mode, press B to go back to debug mode, and then I can press B again to go to game mode. And then from here, I can go straight to edit mode. Cool. All right. So let's see where, OK, so if, I think for now, what I'm going to do is just make it so that when I click, I'm going to draw a line from the camera's position just straight out the camera's forward, and then adjust that line depending on where the mouse cursor is. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> Now, first of all, do I have a mouse clicked? I don't think I do. I have key pressed once. But I need to make a mouse clicked once. <clears throat> so game state, and then this will be a button instead of a key. All right, instead of key inputs, this will be mouse inputs, and this will be state mouse inputs. And instead of key tracking, it's going to be mouse button tracking. Um, <clears throat> I think that should do it. Let me make sure it compiles. It do. Um, all right, so now whenever I click, so when I call this function, I need to draw a line. So I might actually have to build up a buffer of lines in my game state. And this is just going to be a temporary thing. Um, I'll put it here. Why not? So vector three, I'm going to call it ray start. I'll make 256. I probably won't need that many, but better more than I need than less. And then ray end, I also want 256 of those. And then total rays will just be zero. <clears throat> All right, so now when I click the mouse, um, so when the game mode is in edit mode, I guess I'll do all that there. I'm going to say if mouse clicked once, I'm going to pass in the state. I'm going to say mouse button left. So if I click the left mouse button once, I want to draw a line. So I'm going to say state ray start at total rays equals new vector, actually no, equals the camera position. And then state ray end at total rays. Yeah, that's going to equal. So that's going to be the camera's position plus, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to add the camera's forward vector and then multiply it by, I don't know, a thousand, just so it's like way out in front. Oh, this should be state total rays. Let me just do this. U32T equals state total rays. And then this will be T, T, and then state total rays plus plus. OK. So that should do it. Let me see. Oh, wait. You know what? I need to also draw these rays here. So for U32I, zero. Debug line, state, uh, state, ray start at I, state ray and at I, um, we'll make it a, I don't know, like pink. And uh, 0 0.25, something like that. OK, does that compile? Yes, it does. 
So if I'm running around, nothing happens. When I press N and I click, it, nothing shows up. But then when I, you know what? I'm gonna not do this in edit mode, just because it's gonna be kind of annoying having to switch back to see the line. Because it's what happens is the line shoots directly from, forward from the camera, and the way I have it set up, I can't see the line until I move the camera. So I'm gonna just for now put this outside and have it happen every frame, regardless of what state it's in. There we go. And so now, yeah, so now I can click around and I can draw a line. And it draws a line directly in front of the camera. And I can't see the line until I move the camera. But that's fine. It's just for debugging, it'll work. Okay, so that's working. Now I need to actually convert the mouse coordinate to the screen coordinates. Let me do this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a function in my mathematics file. I'm going to make a map function that takes a point and will map it between two different ranges. So let's put it here. Static, it'll return a float. It'll called, be called map. It'll take in a value and it's going to, so this value will be between a min a and a max a. And then we want to map it to a min b and a max b. And I, I got to do more math. So uh, first thing I need to do is calculate what percentage this is within this. So let's see, flow percentage is equal to. So I think it's just V minus, I'm probably thinking about this wrong, min A. And then I want to divide that by max A minus min A. Right? So let's say the range is between 30 and 40, just to make numbers dumb. So 35 minus 30 is 5 and then 40 yeah that'd be 50 percent yeah I think that's working and then I want to then return p times max b minus min b um, yeah and then I want to add min b to that. I think that does it. I'm going to just assume that's going to work until my program breaks. Um, yeah, so now what I want to do is I want to um, make a couple floats here. So I'm going to say this is ray x equals map. I want to take the state's mouse position dot x and then the state, no, I want to take, um, so I need to map it between zero and then the state's window dimensions x, and then that's going to be mapped between from negative one to one. And so for the y, very similar. And that's that. You know what, I'm going to, I just want to make sure this is working before I go on. I'm going to put this here. Let me comment this out here, and then let me just print these out. There we go. Okay, so the x it goes from positive one to negative one, y positive one to negative one, or positive 0.99 to negative 0.99. But cool, yeah. So that's working. That's good. That is what I like to see. So let's now. Oh, okay. So now, oh shoot, I need to get the inverse of a matrix. 
That's going to be complicated. That's going to require some code. Let me see, where do I put this? Let me put it here below multiply, because it's going to be longer than multiply. It's going to be ugly. Um, let's see, my static. So I'm going to make a matrix for return. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it inverse of, and then I'm going to have it take in a matrix for pointer. So it's like you're getting the inverse of that matrix. Okay, so to do this, so I really, okay, so what I need to do, I need a matrix here. This is, I'm going to call it A. It's going to be like the adjugate. Is that what it's called? The adjugate matrix. And there's a formula to, to figure this out. I'm going to put that here somewhere. So once I get the adjugate matrix, and I'll, I'll have to look up what that formula is, then I can get the determinant. And so the determinant is the row, I believe it's the first row of this with the first column of that, like dot producted together or something like that. Let me, okay, so I think it's something like this, M, M at zero times A dot M at zero. And then A, I'm gonna add that to M, M, at one times, and then one, two, three, and then four. <clears throat> so a dot m four, and then I'm going to add that to m dot m or m arrow m two. Get the arrow brackets facing the right way. There we go. Two. Multiply that by a dot m eight. <clears throat> right. Yeah, and then m arrow m dot, no, no dots, three. Oh, I need to add this. Times a dot m at 12. <clears throat> okay, so there's the determinant once I figure out what a is. And then I need to check if the determinant is zero then there is no inverse. The matrix doesn't have, so I'm gonna return, I don't know, I'll probably just return the identity matrix. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, probably not. Um, but then, if the determinant's not zero, then what I need to do is iterate through every component of A And then multiply that by the determinant. Oh no, I need to uh, d get the inverse of the determinant. 1.0 divided by the determinant. And then multiply everything by the inverse of that. And then I can return A. Cool. All right, so now I think that's right. I don't know. Um, but then, yeah, so that's just the easy part. The hard part is now I have to find the adjugate formula. Let me Google this here. So if I type, oh, now I gotta spell it too. A D J U get adjugate oh, adjugate matrix formula. Ooh, maybe there's a picture with the formula, like all nice and labeled and everything. This is all for three by three. Let me specify. 4x4 adjugate matrix formula. I want to watch a video. It's something kind of like this, although I need a little bit more detail. I don't want to have to derive it from that. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know where this is from. I'm going to steal this picture here. And get rid of that. And so basically, what, what are you doing? Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so this is each element of A. I don't, they called it B, but this is each element of uh, A. And A here would be M. My naming is completely different than theirs. But anyway, so I gotta go through each element of A, all 16 of them, and then 
calculate them by using the components of M here. This is going to be tedious. This is going to suck. Uh, this is going to be boring. Don't. Yeah, you can just go do something else at this point. Um, but let's just, I guess you got to start to finish, right? Um, let me just kind of set this up so that I can look at this while doing that. Uh, all right, so let's try this. Okay, so a dot m at zero is equal to, all right, so let me, uh, I'm going to definitely, I'm going to put this way down here at the bottom so I can only see that one row. And then, okay, so this is m, uh, I should use m2 so that way it's easier to translate these. I just got to remember to subtract one from each one of these numbers. Uh, so 2, 2 would be 1, 1. And then I got to multiply that by m. Jeez, m2. <laughs> this is going to take forever. So 3, 3 becomes 2, 2. And then multiply that by m dash m2. 4, 4, which becomes 3, 3. And then I'm going to add that to. And I could probably copy this and just modify it. All right, so then the second one is 2, 3, which is 1, 2. Whoops. And then 2, 3. And then 3, 1. All right, so then this next part is 1, 3. Uh, 1, no, 2, 1. And then 3, 2. All right, and then we're subtracting now. All right, so this one is, so after the first minus sign is 1, 1. And then 2, 3. And then 3, 2. All right. And then after the second minus sign is 1, 2, 2, 1, and 3, 3. Cool. And then after the third minus sign is 1, 3. Uh, 2, 2, and 3, 1. All right, one down, 14 to go. No, 15 to go. This is going to take forever. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a notepad here. Just to kind of cover the one I already did, because this is going to get... And I'm sure I'm going to have to go through this again. I don't. I, I'm probably going to mistype at least one of them if not multiples, and then have to go back and redo it. Okay, so that was a dot m at 1. Let me make sure that compiles. A, okay. All right, so now uh, the next element, so it's 0, 1. It should be 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 3, 2. All right, after the first plus is 0, 2, uh, one, no, 2, 1, and then 3, 3. Whoops, stop, stop, stop. Stop. There we go. All right, now after the second plus is 0, 3, uh, 2, 2, and 3, 1. 3, 1 is already there. Now after the first minus sign is 0, 1. Uh, 2, 2, and 3, 3. After the second minus sign, we got 0, 2, 3, two, no, 2, 3, and 3, 1. And that last part is 0, 3, uh, 2, 1. And three, two. All right, so then that's two down. All right, cool. Next one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to go any faster than this. 
Oh my goodness, if you watched this, I would be impressed. Okay, so first one, zero, one, uh, one, two. So that should be one, two, and then three, three. All right, and then zero, two, one, three, and three, one. And then zero, three, one, one, and uh, three, two. And then zero, one, one, three, and then three, two. And then zero, two, one, one, three, three. And then one, three, or no, sorry, zero, three, one, two, and three, one. Okay. All right, next one, zero, one, already there, uh, one, three, and then two, two. And then zero, two, one, one, and then two, three. Next one, uh, zero, three, one, two, th two, one. All right, after the first minus sign, zero, one, one, two, zero, one, one, two, and then two, three. And then next is zero, two, one, three, and then two, one. All right, then one, th or no, zero, three, one, one, and then two, two. All right, 25% of the way there, not including any errors I've made. All right, so next, <clears throat> one zero. And then two, three, and then three, two, and then one, two, and then two, zero, and then three, three. All right, next is one, three. Is that right? Yeah, one, three. One, three, then two, two, and then three, zero. After the first minus sign is one zero. First minus sign is one zero, and then two two three three, and then one two two three and three zero. <coughs> then one three two zero. And three, two, three, two. All right. All right, number five. So two, two is so far, we're getting it. Okay, zero, zero, two, two, three, three. And then zero, two. Uh, two, three, and then three, zero, and then zero, three, and then two, zero, and three, two. After the first minus sign should be zero, zero, and then two, three, and three, two, and then zero, two, Two zero three three and then zero three two two and three zero right zero three 
two, two, three, zero. Yes. Another one down. Another one to go. Six. All right. So we got zero. We got one, three. And then we got three, two. And then we got zero, two. Then we got zero, no, one, zero. And then three, three. And then zero, three, um, one, two. And three, zero. <clears throat> All right, after the first minus sign, we got zero, zero, one, two. And then three, three. After that, zero, two, one, three, and three, zero, and then zero, uh, three, one, zero, and three, two. All right. Okay, so zero, zero again, uh, one, three, it should be one, two, and then three, two, three. All right, and then zero, two, one, three, two, zero. And then one, three, oh, sorry, wait. After the first plus sign, zero, three, that's what I got, one, zero. And then two, two. All right, so now after the first minus sign, we got zero, zero, one, three, two, two. And then zero, two, one, zero, and two, three. And then the last one is zero, three, one, two, and two, zero. Okay, halfway done. Whatever I just did, let's do it again. Next one, all right, changing the first one to be one, zero, and then two, one, and then three, three, and then one, one, and then two, three, and then three, zero, and then one, three, two, zero, one, three, no, one, three, two, zero, three, one. All right, and then after the first minus sign is one, zero, and then two, three, and then three, one. All right, after the second minus sign is one, one, then two, zero, and then three, three. Then we got one, three, two, one, and three, zero. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, so back to zero, zero, then uh, two, three, and then three, one, and then zero, one, uh, two, zero, and then three, three, and then zero, three, two, one, three, zero. And then zero, zero, two, one, no, yeah, two, one, and then three, three, and then zero, one, two, three, three, zero, and then one, no, sorry, zero, three, two, zero, 
and zero three two zero four two would be three one. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm losing track here. Definitely made some mistakes. Hopefully they're not too hard to find. Okay, number 10. All right, so we got zero, zero. Let me go ahead and line all these up. All right, zero, zero, one, one, three, three. And then zero, one, one, three, uh, three, zero. And then zero, three, one, zero, zero, three, one, zero, three, one. And after the first minus sign, zero, zero, one, three, three, one. And then zero, one, one, zero, three, three. And then the last one is zero, three, one, one, and three, one, no, three, zero. All right, so zero, zero, uh, one, three, and then two, one. And then zero one one zero two three and then zero three one one and then two zero. All right, after the first minus sign is zero zero one one and then two three. And then zero one, two, no, one three two zero. All right, zero one one three two zero, and then zero three one zero two one. All right, three quarters of the way done. At least with the initial typing. So I'm on three, four, I believe. No, three, five. Oh, yeah, because I have four left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Okay, so this one is going to be four, one. All right, uh, so this one is a little different. Uh, one, or no, two, one, so that's going to be one, zero. One, zero, and then two, two. And then four, two is three, one. And then two, two is one, one. Three, one is two, zero. And then three, two. And then one, two. Two one three zero, and then after the minus sign is one zero two one, and then three two. After the second minus sign is one one uh, two two. And three zero. And then after the last minus sign is one two two zero and three one. All right. All 
All right, so now zero, zero, uh, two, one, and three, two, and then zero, one, two, two, three, zero, and then zero, one, no, sorry, that's zero, two, actually. Zero, two, two, zero, and then three, one, and then zero, zero, two, two, three, one, and then zero, one, two, zero, <clears throat> and then three, two, and then zero, two, Three two is two one and four one is three zero. All right, getting there, getting there. Fourteen, the penultimate. All right, so zero zero two three becomes one two, and then three one, and then zero one one zero. And then three two. And then zero two uh, one one. And three zero. And then zero zero one one. Three two. And then zero one one two. Three zero, and then here is going to be zero two, one zero, and three one. All right, last one. Again, not including all the typos that I'm sure I made, but let's just be optimistic and hope that I didn't make any mistakes. Yes, making sure that's the last one here. So zero zero one one two two and then one two whoops no zero one sorry that's a mistake. So zero one one two and then two zero and then zero two one zero two one. Is that right? Zero two one zero two one and then zero zero uh one two two one one and then one no zero one one zero two two oh my goodness last one zero two one one and two zero. All right, I really hope I didn't make any mistakes there. Does it compile? It does compile. All right, so now to test this, I don't know how I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna have to look online a, for a matrix inverse calculator to test this, but let's just do this for now. Let's put this at the very beginning. Let's do this here. Oh. There we go. All right, at the very, very beginning here, I'm going to make a matrix for, I'll call this M, and then for <clears throat> um, let's do this, F32V equals, just seed it with something. Okay, so that'll just make a matrix with random elements in there, and then I'm going to say matrix for i is equal to the inverse of uh, m. All right, 
So if I compile that and I debug that. All right, so M is here. M is indeed initialized to a bunch of random values. And then I, it's got some seemingly non-junk values. So that could be promising. How would I check this? Let me look online here. Close that. I want something I could just paste in data. That would make it easier. I don't think that's going to work. Online matrix inverse calculator with CSV. Okay, does that work? This might work. I probably could just paste in data there. Uh, let me see. Let me just then. Um, yeah, you know what? I need to do this. This is dumb. So percent F space and then m dot m at i just print this out oh yeah i'm still debugging oh and it doesn't know oh yeah oops Okay. Okay, so there's my matrix. If I copy that and then paste that in here, it's going to complain. Matrix is not square. Well, let me make it square for you. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, there we go, that was quick. All right, so now back to debug. Let me stop that. And look at I, and does I match what I got here? 0 0.0495, negative. It does not, so I got a mistake somewhere. As to be expected, I did not really expect to get that right first try. Assuming, and I'll, obviously that's again assuming that I have my formula right all, at all, like that this determinant calculation is what the right thing to do, which I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's. I remember doing that before. Um, a two eight two Yeah, so let me just double check these all again, uh, as tedious as that's going to be. Oh, this is going to suck. I mean, it already does kind of suck, but whatever. Okay, so at least I don't have to retype it all. I can just look. Okay, so one one uh, two two three three one three or no one two two three three one. I'm just gonna be quiet and look through all these. Okay, so that one looks fine. All right, 
is zero one. Okay, so that one's fine. I don't want to do that. Stop, what are you doing? I hate it when I click that, it goes to a different photo. How do I not make it do that? There we go. All right, I'm on number three. All right, so that should be zero, one. Oh, here we go, there's a mistake. One, three, that should be zero, two. All right, maybe that is all it was. Let's hope so. All right, zero, four, nine. Nope. Well, if there was one mistake early, that early on, there's probably others. Let me make sure that everything's right here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so there's definitely more mistakes. Let me just keep on plowing through and finding them okay so this was yeah so that was this this one here two three should be oh no i fixed the wrong thing hold on zero one two three should be one two okay yeah never mind i don't think i had a mistake after all i think i fixed the wrong thing Oh, but this is a mistake. One, this should be one, one. And then three, two, yeah, so there we go. That's a mistake there. That should be one, one. Let me double check the rest of these. Zero, one, one, three, three, two, zero, two, one, one. <clears throat> three, three. Okay, so maybe that was all the mistake was. Double check that I stopped it. And it is printing the same thing each time, right? Oh yeah, also I probably want to do a print a new line here. Got. Yeah, okay, so I just want to make sure the matrix is coming out the same. Um, but yeah, so I definitely still got errors, I believe, here. So let's get back to it. And so that one should be good, and now this one. Zero one. One, two, two, three, zero, two, one, three, two, one, zero, three, one, one, two, two. Okay, so that one's fine. Okay, so one, zero, two, three. Okay. Uh, one, three, two, two, three, zero. One, zero, two, two, three, three. Two. Oh, here's another one. Uh, it's three, four, it should be two, three. And then 
and three zero, and then two four is one three, two zero, then three two. Okay, let's try that. <clears throat> Oh, it's actually getting closer. 0 0.095.93. Actually, it's very close. Let me actually pull this here so everybody can see. So we're trying to get these numbers here to match these numbers. And it's very close, but I don't know if it's close enough. <clears throat> I think there might still be another mistake somewhere. Negative 2, 1. Six nine. So close, but negative six point five zero. I feel like it should be a little bit more. I'm just gonna keep looking. I mean, because it's close enough to where, like, it just might be within the margin of error. Like so close that I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're doing to calculate the inverse. <clears throat> but I feel like it should be a little bit closer. So let me just keep double checking to make sure I don't have any errors. And then, so this was two one, so that's in four. So that's three. Okay, so let me just, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these just to verify. Zero, two, two, three, three, zero. Um, zero, three, two, zero, three, two, zero, two, three. Okay, so that one's good. Next, zero, 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 one, three. Zero, zero, three, one, zero, three, two. That one's good. Yeah, if there is another mistake, it's just going to be one more thing, one more small mistake. Two, three, zero. Zero two one zero two three zero three one two two zero. That one's good. So that should be one zero. Here we go. One zero two one three three one one two three three zero two four. Zero, three, three, one, three, two, one, three, zero. That one's good. good and then zero zero two oh I think I found another one so that should be zero zero one one two three three yay okay so now if I compile that I still have the debug 
Uh, still, still off actually. Where did the? Oh, did I? Th oh shoot! Did I close it? I closed it. Oh, let's save it. Cool. Um, but yeah, so this should actually looks like it's further off now, to be honest, or not really. But hold on, let me double check that I actually recompiled it. And yeah, no, okay. So there's still mistakes, still errors in there. I gotta find them. Let me double check that what I had found was a mistake. So this is zero zero one one three three and then zero one two four should be one three three zero zero three one zero three one zero Okay, yeah, so the rest of that's fine. So I still got another mistake, I believe. Zero, zero, one, three. That should be two, one. Zero, one, one, zero. Two, three, one, three. Zero, three, one, one. Two, zero, zero, zero. One zero two one. All right, so now this one is one zero two two three one 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 two zero three two one two. Zero one two two zero three one. Um, zero zero. That should be two one three two. Then zero one two two three zero. And then zero two three one zero two. No two zero and then. Three one zero zero two two three one zero one two zero three two zero two three one no oh, two one three zero all right zero zero one two three one zero one one zero three two Two zero one one two three zero zero two one zero three one. All right, so if this is the last one. If this one's good, then I made a mistake again. Zero zero one one two two zero one one two three one is two zero zero two one zero. Three two should be two one zero zero one two two one zero one one zero two two zero two one one and two zero. Okay, so yeah, I definitely have another mistake somewhere. Um, because yeah, I, I got it. I fixed one mistake, and it actually my result got further from the actual result than it was before. So which is weird. But it's still very close, very, very close, like within a margin of error, but just far enough to be wrong. So, yeah. Yeah, you know what? This video has already been going on for about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it up now and catch it next time. And then um, we'll get the mouse thing working then, too. So, yeah, it's a little disappointing. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to take one more look. 
This is just so tedious. But once it's done, it's done. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, this is so annoying though. It's just got to be something small and dumb. One, two, one, three, one. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I got a mistake right here. That should be two, three, one, two, three, three, one. That should be three, two. Oh, I hope that's all it was. Oops. There we go. That looks a lot better. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was just about to give up, too. Good thing I didn't. 7197. Yes, this is perfect. Two. Mm, okay, yes, I've been re-motivated to keep working. Let's, let's finish this. Okay, so I can get rid of all this test stuff here. Get rid of that. Cool. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very happy now. So now I can rebuild all this. Okay, so now let's see. So now when I'm in edit mode, I want to be able to edit the, or adjust the ray basically. So I'm going to need to come up with some things here. So I need a vector four. Um, I'll call this, I don't know, box ray. I don't know, it's a terrible name. Uh, but it's basically just going to be ray x, ray y. Um, the z is going to be just negative 1 and then 0 for the w component. And I need a vect 4 because I'm going to, the whole work with the inverse is I'm going to make another vector 4. Um, actually, I don't think I need to make another vector 4. I can say box ray equals, so I'm basically doing the opposite of what I'm doing in the shader. I'm going to take that coordinate or that vector and then multiply it by the inverse of the perspective and then the camera projection or actually I don't remember which one so inverse I'm gonna say it's inverse of the camera cameras projection I believe first so I'm going to take the inverse of the camera's projection, multiply it by box ray, and then I'm going to save that new value in the box ray. And I don't need the Z component either, so I'm going to say box ray equals vector for box ray. And this is all garbage code, I know, but it only needs to happen once when I click. Um, and then the same Z and Y, or Z and W. All right, and then I need to take that, and then that's going to be the inverse. Uh, actually, let me make sure that compiles first. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right, so then box ray is equal to the inverse of the camera's view. times box ray, I think. Then I want to normalize that. Do I have normal of for a vec4? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Do I have length for a vector four too? I don't think so. There we go. Okay, still getting the rays there. And that's because why? Okay, so I think that's it. So I think this is what I need. And then, so instead of 
multiplying it, adding camp forward, I'm going to say box ray. Oh, no, it's not box ray. It's vector 3 box ray dot x box ray dot y box ray dot z. Okay, so if I click on the light and then move, oh, it worked. Okay, so now so let me just test it again. So if I move the mouse, I'm in edit mode. I click on the head of my guy moving here. And then I get a ray shooting him right through the head. Sweet. I think it's working. Uh, yeah, let me, okay, so let me just see. I'm going to click on all of these monkey heads. And when I leave edit mode and move around, I should see a laser hitting all of them right in the head. Let me get some wind way over here too, just to make sure it gets the extreme ends. I don't know, just clicking random ones. Okay, here's a test. And yeah, I think that's every single one I clicked on. Yay, all right, oh, this is working. Okay, cool, this is a good start. This is a really good start. I did not think I was gonna get this far today. Um, sweet. And then that's where the camera was. All right, great, so yeah. Um, so this is gonna make it a lot easier to start dragging things around the game. Um, but I don't wanna do that yet because I really kinda wanna overhaul my whole text mesh rendering system. I wanna kinda like see if I can maybe combine them. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save this here. Add it. Um, commit. Um, I don't know what to say. Mouse picking basics implemented. Okay, so while that's saving, I am going to go ahead and log out. Thank you, everybody. I will see you next time.